Hey everybody, BD Dalton here from the Grow, Sell, and Retire podcast, uh, Secrets for Lazy Overachievers, talking to you from Madrid. I'm here with two of the guys that have been attending the Mission Control course, trying to get control back of their business, and we get we get really into our entrepreneurs' lives and get stuck behind a lot of noise, uh, looking for the next client, and trying to figure out, actually, you know, a lot of time we don't have the time to think about doing it right. So the reason I've, we've come away to Madrid is to make sure that people can get away from the rigmarole of the day-to-day life and start looking at their business. So I, I, Matt Barnsley with here, me here today and Abdul Shakur, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that they've learned or, or figured out about themselves and their business. So Matt, looking at you and what, you, what you've done over the last couple of days and looking at your business, what, what do you think that you've gained by being here in Madrid at Mission Control? Well, first of all, it's been a complete surprise on actually what's been going on here in Madrid. I've seen Bart speak before at numerous speaking occasions and found him fantastic there anyway, but really that was only scratching the surface of what he actually does. By going to Madrid, you actually see into Bart's life and the cultures that he adopts when he does business with other people. He makes you see um, what, uh, what, why you do things, why you do business with other people, uh, your reasons for wanting to make money, for family life, he, he, he rediscovers your motivations. He also sets clear paths on your goals and how to achieve them and what resources that you should be pulling in from and why you should be pulling those resources in. And you actually go away feeling new, new motivation. You feel like you've got a new kind of structure to your life and to your career and you know exactly where you want to go. So what do you think? When you came into it, what do you think was going to happen? <laughs> well, if I'm being completely honest, I thought it was going to be a kind of a... Uh, what do you call it, uh, a, a round table of businesses, just bashing ideas together and mixed in with a bit of a, uh, a bit of a jolly, you know, a bit of a holiday and, and a bit, bit more of a, a bit of a relaxing time. But yeah. So when you, when you looked at it, when now when you sit down, do you have, do you have things that you're actually going to be able to go back and do in your business to make it better? Absolutely. It's, it's a brilliant mixture actually, because it, it although it's felt like a, a retreat, like, uh, like a holiday where you, you get time to come away from your business and, and do, you do get to relax and you do get to unwind a little bit and just slow down the pace a little bit. At the same time, what it's actually um, enabled you to do is go back with kind of a, 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 a new jacket on, a new kind of war, you know, new war paint to be able to go back and say, right, I'm ready. I know exactly what I need to do. Um, I've got new ideas. You know, I, I, I've seen the things that I've been doing wrong until this point. And they need to go, as soon as I step back there, step foot back in Britain, they're going to go and new kind of habits are going to start kicking in. That's really good. So we're going to go to Abdul now, and Abdul's going to walk through a couple of things. Um, Abdul's been doing a lot of social media um, for, for me and also for a lot of clients that I know. But Abdul, when you, when you came here to Madrid, to Mission Control, um, what, what did you think was going to happen and what have you taken away from, from the last couple of days? If I'm honest, I didn't know. I absolutely didn't know what to expect at all. Um, I came thinking that it was going to be, again, like Matt said, pretty much a round table of businesses, and we're just cracking on, and you know, we go out in the evening for um, a bit of a chill and a bit of a relaxing time. But other than that, I didn't know what to expect at all. So coming to Madrid was it, it was just an eye opener to not only the culture here in the city, but how much you you've integrated the culture and things in the culture into your business as well as some of the cafes that we went to and what we can learn from them. And everywhere we went was a, a total new experience for us uh, uh, overall. Uh, one of the key things that I've come away with is actually more clarity. And I think in business, we don't have a... As entrepreneurs, we can get so muddled up in our business and so engrossed in it that we just don't have that clarity and focus of what do we actually need to do in our business. And um, I've walked away with um, amazing and absolute clarity of what I can go back, how to grow and scale my business, how do I need to position myself, how do, how do, I, need to, how do I sell to my prospects, and also, you know, how do I grow and scale, and being very specific about, how, you know, how I'm going to get there, and, and what does it look like when I get there as well. I think the, the big thing, and the, the other reason why we, we come away together, is that you also build, you build teamwork. Um, so you, you figure out because when you start sharing experiences and, and we had a, a function last night where we had about nine other uh, entrepreneurs in the room from all sorts of places. We had them from Paris. We had them from Milan, um, from here in Madrid, uh, Washington, D.C. 
everybody got together. And the funny thing is, is that no matter where we were, what, what we were talking about, everybody had the same problems. So when, when you met that, what's one of the things that you might have taken away, guys, um, from, from that meeting, knowing and listening that, you know, and I, I stood up in the middle of the meeting and said, it's, isn't it funny that if it's so easy to solve everybody else's problems? Because it truly is. It's when, when you're sitting there listening to everybody else, um, you really can look at your business and go, hey, yeah, the, yours, your, your business is so easy. If you just did this, this, and this. But what's, what's one of the things that you might have said yesterday? And I'll let either of you step up quickly. But something you said to somebody else yesterday that you could actually say, you know what, I, actually, I should really be doing that in my business today. Uh, for me personally, it was the fact that a, a lady we spoke to, she had a patent pending on a product. And she said, I don't want to go to market yet because it's not quite ready. And this, this patent pending product was fantastic. And I said, to everybody in the room all shouted out, go, go to market straight away. But the truth is, with a lot of our products, we're too scared to jump in at the deep end and go for it and, and go with our, our dreams and our ambitions. And I think what I learned was if you want to do something and if you've got the good support network around you, go for it don't hold back because it will be too late before and somebody else will think of the idea and somebody else will do what you what you've always wanted to do so that's what i learned just kind of go with go with instinct sometimes and go with your gut feeling and that's really good so going with your gut feeling is usually good but then the best thing about it is when you're working in a group whether it's mission control whether it's having a business coach whatever else it is it, you have to bounce it off of somebody so it's not just actually going for it which is good because we got to go with our heart and soul because you got to believe in what you're doing but you actually have to go in a little bit vetted with people that actually might buy from you you don't always have to take on board what actually everybody says because sometimes they're negative or sometimes they don't understand exactly where you're going but you still need to take on board those people so Abdul what's one of the things you might have taken away or said last night that, that you didn't think about or you could apply to your business and say maybe I should have been doing that a little bit more I, I think one of the complete light bulb moments not just from this trip but from that meeting was actually saying you know you don't need to sell you can attract the ideal client that you want and actually I've been going out there doing a lot of selling and not you know not enough of positioning ourselves in the correct way so we can attract our clients so actually I want to do more of that and that's going to be a, a complete focus going forward for for a lot of entrepreneurs it's going to be how do we attract our clients you know why do we have to go out chasing clients anymore it's great. The, the thing that I talk about in the book, and this, it's, I've just learned it. It's not because I'm smart or anything else. It's just because I've done things so wrong so many times that I've now applied it is that hunting in packs. And it's the big thing is if, if Matt's in a room with Abdul or me or, or Richard or anybody else, the things that we can do is uh, I can sell – what Matt's doing, I could sell the, the membership organization and how well it's done for me, or I could say, Abdul does this great thing. If I say it, or if Abdul says it, he's bragging. And so, but if I say it about Abdul, that's a testimonial. And you instantly move to that next level if, if you do that, and you're not having to, having to sell all the time. And that's the hardest thing, especially when, when younger entrepreneurs or new entrepreneurs are coming into it. You feel you feel that scarcity mentality. I have to get this done today. I have to make the money today because, or else it won't be successful. And we we talked about this, and I think we Abdul and, and Matt and I and Richard and we were all talking about is that the level when you start to move through, it's like owning a car dealership. It's when you start off, everybody owns that that first level of car dealership, that Toyota or that Honda or whatever else it is. You own that dealership and get really really good at that. And then as you move through, you start to get to the next level of dealership. You start to buy that, that Mercedes or that, that BMW or Audi dealership. And then if you really, really get good at your business and you want to go for this, then you buy that Bentley dealership or that Tesla dealership and you, you move yourself forward. But you have to know what level you're at. And that's, that's the big thing. So if you were able to say one, one sentence, one phrase, or, or maybe two sentences that aren't too long about somebody that should attend next year and you not knowing what you're coming into, what, what are one or two things that you would tell a prospective person that should attend in Madrid or Mission Control next year, Matt? Personally, I think it's an absolute must for any, any businesses that are looking to grow. If you truly look back on your own business and think, are you 100% happy with everything that's going on in your business at the moment? If you are, that's fine. <laughs> if you're not, then this is the perfect place to come. But it's fantastic at kind of pulling things apart, 
looking at where what can be improved on, what support functions that you can get, and what, how, how much help you can get from other people as well. It's definitely uh, you know a fantastic thing to do. Cool. Thank you for that. And then how about you, Abdul? Uh, if I'm honest, I needed this six years ago. Um, I, I wish I had something like this six years ago to come to to give me this clarity and focus and structure. I wouldn't. Uh, I would have saved myself a lot of headache and time. So anybody that's looking to come or <coughs> even deciding whether they should come or not, I think 100%. You need this now uh, and not a year down the line or two years down the line. You need this right now because it's going to change your life and it's going to change your business. Thank you. So mission control, if, if you can do it, there, there's other things you can do to engage with, with me and, or with, with the people around me. But overall... Mission control and the reason we come to Madrid is you get that cultural difference. You build a team, you build habits, and you really step back. Because the biggest thing we do to each ourselves as entrepreneurs is that we, we kind of beat on ourselves. We don't give ourselves the credit that we deserve for being entrepreneurs because we're, we're out there all by ourselves doing what we're going to do. Or, or maybe have one partner or two partners. But in general, overall, you're just fighting your own battle. So when you do this, you know what? You get to share things. You get to share war stories. And you get, you get that, those people that can cheer you along. So not only do you come here for business ideas, but you come here to get a business team. So hopefully you've learned a little bit more about mission control. Hopefully you've heard a couple of things that you might be able to take away for your business. But if you want some more, just come back to me. Go to www.bartdaltonconsulting.com. Thank you very much, guys. Gross, Sell, and Retire podcast out. Thanks.